of Ukraine. The challenger, this three-time amateur world champion and two-time Olympic gold medalist. 396 of them oh, twice, and as a pro, so he got the better of it. And fighter in Salido. Functional weight advantage over Hold on, and wasn't Lomachenko's one loss. Asian star who was a great throw, a body shot with the left hand. That's his money. Feels his opponent if he sees that the rounded fighter in here. Lomachenko's the aggressive. American Gary Russell Jr. in a fight that generally dominated the fight. Yeah, and I don't care how protected Russell has been. Really fast fighter. For the purpose of CX Operio Pino Pay. It's to probe with the foot, but he's always what is outside of, always in position as a south. To play some power the bunch. Who works out of one song Shaichin. And we're now joined at ring. Guys. <laughs> Excellent performance by Sean Latarn. Yep. You can call him Sean. I'm in the first round, that's his money punch, but generally Lomachenko's footwork, the game, he's a great boxer. Even at this very early stage of his career, Roy. Really. Yeah, career, but it's not really the early stage of fights. There's no such thing as early in your career. Try this, exactly. and then he beats the guy twice <laughs> in rematches. So it's no with two Olympic fighter in the Olympic Games. I mean, this guy is uh, live. There's enough Olympic and World Champion he's junk. And by the way, <laughs> that's not a bar, but the and a bronze medal and two World Championship golds and a silver medal for Zhou Ximing. And then, of course, the gold medal that Roy Jones was not given at Seoul. Medals. Roy, very few fighters can throw that right hook. The Lomachenko is doing right now, real punches, meaning he's not putting all of his power on every shot. does see a clean shot. And while he's already moving to duck and dodge like that, out of that movement. He counters so quick, fast, that sometimes they look, and it would have been to go to believable. I mean... If he throws something, it's with a, an intention, Roy, and it does what he intends it oh, no, to no. do. And like you said, it, it does exist before he makes his jump. Right now. Which is away from fling back to the right, forcing Alperio Pino to try to time that left hook to the body. It's not easy to do. No, he hurt uh, oh. He hurt him that time with that body shot, I think. Same way hurt Orlando Salido in the 12th round with the body shot. Same way he hurt Gary Russell two or three times with body shots. Here he goes again, digging to the body. That was a big left hand by Lomachenko to the gut. Because Lomachenko is one of those matrix fighters, Roy. I always thought of him an example of it, where he, uh, I mean, ooh. So we make him do exactly already reacting to what we know he has to do. Like a like an anticipation, head even as a southpaw to avoid the ropes with his back, to move just enough where the where his punches using his arms to block some of those body shots. He can't move his hands down there quick enough to block them, so he's blocking them with his arms. That's not a bad move. Moment to moment, you can feel Sean to have any chance. His jab <laughs> isn't much. He's got one punt. Well, he was being beaten and outclassed by Chris John, but then came back to have some moments in that fight. Uh, that's what a good fighter does. He beats you over a period of time. Snaps that right chip. He hits you hard with the left hand. I mean, it's incredible. Lands a million punches. You know, either hand, he's beyond compare. He puts the guy where he wants to put him, controls the action. What Roy Jones explained in the last round, his hands are so he's involved in before his body goes there. Before it goes there. Years over, and years over, and years. For years and years. I mean... He turns into Willie Pep all of a sudden. Well, no other guy you know in boxing would have... You know, he was Jeff Fennick a little bit in this fight, left. and then all of a sudden he's Willie Pep in this fight. He's a combination-throwing pressure fighter. He's a power-punching pot shotter. And then all of a sudden he's a fleet-footed escape artist. And he has hurt Pino, Piri Pino again with a body shot. And he uh, uh, created some stationary, you know... Heck of a punch. And he... Heck... You know... His job is to wear this guy down, continuously punch on him until one of them hits him and he hits the canvas. If that doesn't happen, he's smart enough to keep the pressure on after Lomachenko onslaughts him like this. Fantastic, oh, fantastic uppercut. Amazing. The seven. And that's the first time in 53 fights that he's seen Vasi Lomachenko. That's it. Hey, very close attention to Lomachenko, everybody. This is a uh, beautiful right uppercut from the outside, followed by a left hand and a good cross hook. Then he comes back and throws a one, two, three. Well, a, a looping right hook. Followed by two more to keep him backing up. And once he straightens up, bam, there's the overhand left. And down he goes. Our Pio Pino. Right. That's the difference. Sean Tom doesn't have two gold medals. <laughs> 
Jean Latar, 1008 Seoul Olympics. And we probably couldn't find Jean Latar's other rounds on Wikipedia if we checked. And, and on top of all that, Momich, he's, he's laced with fast twitch muscles. His reaction and reflexes are super quick. Just hurt Jean Latar again. This is becoming target practice for Lomachenko. Lomachenko, maybe his face tends to mark up from not too much contact. Pino's right hand, I'm guessing that Pino because, you know, that happens quite frequently when you've got a southpaw against a conventional fighter. Particularly a conventional fighter who has to dip four, four shots. Four or five with his weak hand. With, his, with his weak hand moving <laughs> in the opposite direction. I mean, with a strong hand, but, you know, it's too yeah. weak combination. The supposedly stronger hand or the lead hand is in front. Well, that was his weak hand. I mean, the leather he's landing with his left-hand shot. Had a guy like this guy in front of him. Right, Gary Russell was take... much faster. Yeah. Not by Opiria Pino. And he tries for another one. It's Joe Donaire. Um, Very and strong division. The fifth challenge in the division is Johnny Gonzalez. Rigandau's at 122 pounds. He thinks Rigandau's too small. Rigandau's right there. I think Rigandau's a little small. Ah! Team arena. There are also 1,000 people wallet in an adjoining in Macau, along with all of those of you in the United States who are watching on Saturday. You know, who was a go get better as the fight wore on. As though he, he became more energetic in the second half of the fight. Here, much more offensive minded early. We'll see what happens if this fight continues on into the second half. I mentioned it's a strong division. And some of the names have already come up. Lomachenko has a title belt. So Donaire, October 18 in Carson, has a title belt fight in Omaha, Nebraska. His small matchup of all. Great skill matchup. The winners fight against one another. We very rarely get to see two gold medalists fight one another. Who, by the way, both have a chance of boxing in the not too distant future. Still throwing real shots. Real punches tonight, and he keeps coming right back. Well, not exactly a luxury life for Sean Latan Arpira Pino. Comes from a small town in Thailand. His parents had a farm. They grew vegetables on the farm, sold them or bartered them for the things that they needed. Lomachenko hammering him against the ropes. He almost equivalent to the weight cap. Of course, a thoroughbred. Lomachenko. With well, arms a little short for a horse, though. That's why I went with the cow. <laughs> Alperio Pino got in his left hook to the body and landed it with authority. Ah, 60 to 53, 6 to nothing for the knockdown. So that paternalizing. All have very, very strong legs. The reason being, you know, a sport where you can kick your opponent. Then if you used to some kicks. Yeah, he's out to help him out something. Before he took up boxing, both of them said to us that boxing was rougher than Muay Thai. That's more of a Roy, but he... You see a little bit of him boxing. You see a little bit of him really sitting down. It's the total package. You don't get to see that. Too. Vasily Lomachenko has not thrown a left-hand punch in this entire round. Normally, that means that the hand and left crosses coming in on an upward angle. And uh, Papilla Chino, Papilla Chino's, uh, he has a big head up front for a small guy which means he probably is used to taking it, putting it down for, for a punch. He could have injured Lomachenko's hand. This Here's sounds very counterintuitive to most people. Some skulls are harder than others. You've got to be careful with that right hand throwing it over the top left. Yeah, there. it's hurt for sure. Yeah, he, he just hurt it again. the left hand, and now he holds the left right hand as if to say, see, I can beat you. It's largely dominated by the height to the finish Lomachenko's doing. He's got five loss in over 50 fights. The f Lomachenko. Amateur, uh, 400 fight amateur experience will come in how to survive with one hand, which most guys probably couldn't do in this in this situation. But he should have holds up. And if the fight's been scored properly through the first seven rounds, he doesn't necessarily have to be seen as the winner in the rounds. Rounds left. Right. Or when you know that the, the guy only has one weapon, now up here, pin you can try to concentrate on taking just the right hand away. And mean Lomachenko, he doesn't. Break the, other, the one. other one, right? Well, I think that Lomachenko is smart enough to know that if you broke one board in the second fight for a, left it dangling at his side for about 30 seconds and then white went back to throwing it. 
which was stunning. Some fighters say it hurts for a while and then it stops hurting if you keep throwing it. Lomachenko may not have had that experience. He's not throwing the left at all. Well, Mickey Ward had no choice. Um, Lomachenko is so talented. You mean, you mean Arturo Gatti? Especially in the middle of that fight. Uh, Lomachenko is so talented. He can try to do this, as Roy said, as Roy has done with one hand. Serious injury. Lomachenko in this round, according to... He's not even fainting with the left. Well, he threw it one time. Yeah, we've seen Floyd Mayweather take a knee as a knockdown earlier in his career. Lomachenko ah. completely outclassing all pure opinion. Go ahead. Cruz an arm and has to rounds, in fact, against a determined challenger. In a heavyweight fight, in the bad eyes, saw to lead arm is the his right hand were broken. He'd probably be in a far more difficult situation. A much more with only one hand. Round number nine. Nine of a schedule 12. I wonder if it was Lomachenko. Seems like the kind of guy who maybe could pull that off. Well, we've described him as Superman. So it seems like he, like all fighters, and this is a new situation. Throws the left hand twice. Throws it twice more. Throws another. Comes back. Do we know the hand and not the wrist. We don't know. Shaking that all to punch with a broken wrist and with a broken hand. Neither is going to be fun, but he's... Not throwing it with any power at all, but there it is. What did it do? Continue to stick it out like that. Right hook. Right hook, I mean, yes. They turn right hand for a minute. Squares up, sort of jab with it, and now fires a power shot. That straight left hand. Lomachenko inventing on the fly. You see this with special athletic fighters also, where they maintain that kind of electric energy in every round. Um, they don't fall. Look, it's about a nine to nothing. That. No. Glad I was right. Hate to be wrong. Two minutes to go in round ten. Sean Latarn, Piri Pino, trying to get something done with his body punching, which is his bread and butter. But throughout the fight, he's been dominated by the quickness, skill, the amazing. Uh -huh. Pino need his happens with uh, opposite-handed fighters a lot, but hasn't happened here. And create an angle. Jim, you often talk about Manny Pacquiao's footwork, the best in sports, but Lomachenko gives him some run in that department, I think. Well, but you've mentioned Rigondeau, who also has amazing footwork. <laughs> it would surely be interesting to see the two. And giving Opirio Pena more chance. But that's an attrition punch. That's a wear you down over the long haul punch. And Opirio Pena has not landed enough of them to really put a dent in Lomachenko's armor coming in. Lomachenko better be careful with those right Oh now, so I don't think he has anything to worry about. And I must too, I must say, Lomachenko did show improvement in this fight, Max. When we first seen him in the first couple of fights, he was not good at throwing long-distance punches. This fight, he threw some long-distance punches. So he is improving as he... Because like that, he wasn't really big. There's um, a difference between a guy watching something out of the ordinary whenever... Uppercut with the lead hand by Lomachenko. Tries to land it again, just misses. And he's using the uppercut like a right, like a straight right hand now. That's I still can knock you out. If I land this left up, you may have problems. Taken your implicit advice, Roy, to use the left hand as a decoy, throw it, pity brilliantly two rounds ago. Now he's back pain with the left. There he is. He's actually using the left match. Papiri pin you from believing he's Way switches feet on the inside to set up a punching at this. That and the amazing. I love it. Yeah, I could. If you like. And this fight would be over already. Yeah. Because right there, he would have landed that overhand left again. And right there as well. Uses the left to the body. I think, yeah, I think he just hurt him to the body with the left hand. No think yeah. he did. Now he's throwing the left with authority to the body. He throws it into the midsection. Thinks he can do it's been fascinating to watch that fight against Chris John. Had over 50 professional fights. Is the number one. You put them all together and. Ily Lomachenko for five full rounds, assuming they'll go. One, go figure. <laughs> and, and as we mentioned earlier, what a fortunate circumstance to have a guy, maybe, you know, you could resume ever. I mean, certainly it's a too distant future. Of 
to be in a division where Nicholas Walters just looks so impressive against Dondau sitting right there at 122, four pounds. The, the potential opponents for Lomachenko and the fights that can be made, any permutation of those guys is an excellent fight. Lomachenko's 26 years old. We may be watching him for 10 or 15 years. What a treat. Interpreter in Lomachenko's corner tells us that his father, Anatoly Lomachenko, says, Sealy Dunn, he came ahead of Sean Latona, for your opinion. <laughs> hey, his dad said he could throw it. I was just throwing it, and his head got in the way. <laughs> ah, jab. Takes an Arperio uh, Pino jab. That's the best jab all night. That's ah, ah. <laughs> Another amazing display <laughs> of combination punching. This is breathtaking stuff, really. With defense built in. Shaking the left hand, shaking the left hand. Well, the good thing is he has father. He's out of punches. I think, I, I think up here all night long. <laughs> And frankly, Oferio Pino doesn't get any leverage. He's going to be hard-headed and do the left hand to the hard head. And look what happened to him. Loma Oferio Pino landed. I didn't see him. Okay. <laughs>